Yo yo, what's going on people and welcome to a Forge video. Today we're going to be covering one of the five classes on Forge. Today we're going to be covering the Assassin. And just like any other good player, before you get into the battle, you gotta make sure what your character can and can't do. Without further ado, let's get down to it. So our main damage ability, one of our main damage abilities is going to be called Strike. By default, it's going to be your left click. And it'll be doing some pretty good damage, 75 from the back, and from the front, it'll be reduced. So most of the times, you're going to want to be attacking from the back. Also, keep in mind that most of our abilities take up a lot of energy, and uh, your strike ability will allow you to replenish up to 15 um, energy per strike, pretty much. Your second most used ability and your second most uh, damage output is going to be a move called Puncture. Puncture is a damage over time ability that uh, for 4 seconds, for every second, it's going to do 20 damage. And this can be stacked up to 5 times. So Pantera's Kiss, which is our third ability, it's rarely even used uh, depending on what kind of assassin you are. But usually what it does is... When you do your pun uh, your puncture and use Pantera's Kiss, all of the damage that you would have done will be done in one single blow after five seconds. Depending on how many stacks you have on puncture, the damage will be increased. So one of our ways to keep up with our target and one of our gap closers is called Shadow Leap. Shadow Leap allows us to teleport directly behind our target. And of course, you can follow up to do whatever you want. Keep in mind that this ability can also be used to a friendly target. Disorienting Strike. This allows me to stun my target for 3 seconds, doing 40 damage, and their next attack is going to be a miss. A pretty cool ability that we can also do is called Shadow Shift. This allows us to pretty much teleport to a another realm, making this fight a one on one situation. And if you have any type of puncture um, dots on your target, he will be slowed. And during this time, you cannot vanish or teleport behind your target. And of course, every assassin's favorite move is stealth. This is pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, you want to be detected. Nothing can pretty much see you. Um, and you can attack freely. You want to get out of stealth. But once if you either try to teleport behind your opponent or if you attack him during stealth, your stealth will be broken. Last but not least is one of my favorite abilities called Smoke Cloud. Smoke Cloud, when used, any range attacks that comes through will still hit you, but you will take no damage at all. Keep in mind that if you use this ability close to your nearby healer, he will not be able to heal you. So this is a two-way street. This should give you enough time to pretty much run away and re-stealth. Now let's see how all these abilities come together in certain different type of scenarios. In this scenario, we have an enemy Pathfinder trying to harass one of our teammates. So I open up with this orienting strike, apply three punctures, auto attack so I can get some of my energy back, continue to apply puncture, use shadow shift so no one can help him out. Luckily enough, I can still apply puncture since he's next to me. And I can finally stun him and pick up the kill. Here I'm trying to save my teammate's life by stunning the assassin. But since he's been stunned too many times, it just didn't go off. So I'm trying to apply as much pressure as I can with my auto attacks and puncture. But yet I had no choice but to use my shadow shift to save his life and pick up the kill. That's one of many ways of using shadow shift. So my teammate and I pretty much decided to double team on their healer. Sadly though, he does die and I do get a chance to get the kill. But I have two Pathfinders around me, so I drop down the smoke bomb hoping to negate any damage that might hurt me, giving me enough time to stealth. Hopefully they won't find me in this little corner. And I actually got away with the kill and not die. Last but not least, I see someone who is pretty much about to die. All I gotta do is shadow leap, auto attack, and bam. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video to the introduction to the assassin for the game called Forge. Be sure to check it out before December 18th to get a free copy. To then guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, like, share, do all that stuff. And until then, 
Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Be easy. Peace.